Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Respect and the equality of gender. Catching animals' attention is called respect. Or feeling anyone good of you is called respect. Respect is the most valuable to everyone. Almighty Allah says in Quran, Surah Al Fatir, verse number 10, Whoever desires honor, all honor belongs to Allah. To Him ascends good words and righteous deeds, raises it. First part of the verse is saying, Allah is holding respect in His own hands. The second part of the verse is saying the two factors for attaining respect. One is good speech and the second is righteous deeds. There is no concept of money or job. Even though the Prophet Muhammad had not given neither job nor money. Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Surah Al Jum'ah, verse number 2, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, We have chosen a prophet among you who is Ummi. Ummi means who is not able to read, who is not able to write. But Prophet Muhammad is and was the noblest. Now, if we look to the first factor of attaining respect, that is good speech. The first and the foremost thing which you should have is good communicating skill. You should be able to deal properly with others. Making legitimate relationships for the sake of Almighty Allah. Allah emphasizes good speech at many places in Quran, like as in Surah Al-Baqarah verse number 263, Almighty Allah says, Kind words and forgiveness is better than the charity followed by regret. For learning good communicating skill, we need to deal their subject separately. Now, take the second factor, that is righteous deeds. In righteous deeds, it includes everything. A man should be morally sound, a man should be internally pure, like in Surah Al Hujrat, verse number 12. Ya ayuhallazina amanu ishtanibu kasira min adwani, inna ba'd adwani isa. Oh, you who have believed, do not much assumption, because some assumptions are wrong. To which you say, we need to be optimistic. Almdala says, you need to be optimistic. This is, you, sh you need mentally stable, you need mentally good, wise. Now, this was about Surya al Fatir. Verse number 10. Now look at another verse. Surah Al-Hujrat, verse number 30. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Oh mankind, indeed we have created you from male and a female, and made you peoples and tribes, that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. Almighty Allah, in the first part of the verse, says that we have created you from a single male and a female, thus defining we are equal, no discrimination under gender. Look at the end of the verse, Surah Al-Nahl, verse number 97. And there Almighty Allah says something beautiful, 
and you have to chat that by yourself. Almighty Allah has said everything in a proper and beautiful way. But we need to open our eyes. If there is any bad image of Islam in our minds, we need to turn our face towards Quran and check that. May Allah forgive us all. Thanks.